again and welcome to the Ladies on Nefer Television where we keep you updated on what are happening on the paper. We've seen that most of the paper is capturing the casualties, what happened in Medugri concerning the flooding where we've seen that even patients in the hospital had to vacate as a result of the submerge of the rain. So it's actually taking a toll on a number of Nigerians. We hope that wherever you are, try as much as possible to be safe. I am Stella Elisha Dasha, helping this program alongside Rachel Tamsi. Good morning. Good morning, Celia. Morning. All right, we shall be running through the papers, and Rachel will take us through the first paper for today. The first paper for today is Nigerian Tribune, the big story on the paper, Factors That Will Shape Edo Governor Election. Obaseki Oshomele War Deputy Governors are vote banks for PDP and APC. Edo South Central are battlegrounds. Election win-win for Edo Central. Financial strength, oratory, prose, personalities of candidates to play roles. You can find details of the big story on page 17. $3.5 billion LNG. Shell accuses Venture Global of alleged wrongful earnings as LNG faces same offense. You can start with the details on the front page. Thousands displaced as flood wrecks havoc in Medugri. Schools, businesses shut down. Shehu's palace, teaching hospital, offices, homes, vehicles submerged. Inmates escape from prison. Animals break free from zoo. Situation still terrible. Tenevo orders Nema to assist victims. Shetima says flood most catastrophic in the three decades. Vows federal government to mobilize resources to save affected victims. Oil prices drop below $70 per barrel, exciting downward pressure on Naira. Blame OB OT for crisis in LP. Deputy National Chairman is saying you can find details of his statement on page 18. Likewise, we can see um, the picture story showing what is going on in Medugri as of yesterday. And that's all the news on Nigerian Tribune. On the Garden newspaper, still talking about what's happening in Borno State, where we're seeing fears of fat fatalities as Borno Dam collapses, displaces half a million. Where we're seeing that the key metrics of the 2024 20, flood incident for a dam crisis, where we are having about 29 affected states, and we have 809,312 affected persons, 94,491 houses were affected, 229 lives lost, 172 affected local government areas, 386,239 displaced persons, 2,390 inju injuries sustained, and then 125,805 hectares of farmlands were affected as a result of the flooding and actually even how it affected the dam. So you can do well to get the paper and read more detail of the story. Army denies fresh invasion of Okwama, says it's routine military operation. Federal pump price hike, a failure of leadership. This is an editorial you can find on page 15. Nigerians are disappointed. Ari Ona Kakafor tells Tinibu. Federal government rolls out free CNG kit 230 naira per liter gas. OBOT writes INEC over Labour Party caretaker committee. As well, we have Abuja residents ground over res uh, restricted access to 40,000 naira rice. You can read that on page 9. We have a picture story where we can see distinguished members of the World Trade Organization. And this was um, during an annual World Trade Organization public forum in Switzerland. You can do well to get a paper and read more detail of the story if that's of interest to you. On Blueprint newspaper, NCDC confirms 55 monkeypox cases in 21 states, including the FCT. Regulatory compliance costs stifling banking sector growth. A report and statement from Illuminelu. You can find details on page 20. On sports, Afcon, Rwanda force Super Eagles to go less draw in Kigali. Edo Guba polls INEC has no candidate. A statement from Yakubu pledges to uphold integrity of exercise. 
The big story on the paper, Alo Dam Collapse, Bruno Ravage, resident displaced, prison inmates, zoo animals escape. Shehu's Palace Cemetery, Kiarimi Park Zoo, order submerge. Tenebu Direct Nema's intervention, Buhari says it's national calamity. Governors ACF Ndume orders Och Suko. You can find details of this story on page 6. Still on the paper, presidency tackles NLC denies human rights abuses, says Ajero not above the law. Five killed others injured in Anambra community. Manufacturers taxes to increase by 84% des um, despite Oh, you can find details inside the paper. And that's all the news on Blueprint newspaper. On the Vanguard newspaper, in deepening its capital market, Nigeria raises over $900 million five-year inaugural domestic FGN US dollar bond, detailed on page 20. Concerning Nigeria, nobody is above the law coming from the federal government. Allegation of right abuse in Nigeria, false federal government replies UKTUC. My ordeal with DSS operative and other security agency coming from the NLC president says they are fishing for evidence to nail us. Confirm return of seized passport phones. How pressure from local and international community forced government to release a chero. NLC to conduct medical check on its president. Oppression from Tenebo's regime surpasses military dictatorship coming from Atiku. We didn't read. We came for investigation. DSS tells Sira. More detail found in the paper. As well, we have agony versus flood wreck havoc in Medugri. And then concerning sport eagles versus warps, it's a barren draw in Kigali. You can read detail in the paper. Bandit leader Bellu Tunji and others will soon be captured coming from the chief of defense staff. You have the pictures to read of the floor and that's all on Vanguard newspaper. On the Punch newspaper, why NNPC may not leave Dangote petrol on Sunday. Fuel importers fear domestic production is a statement from the <coughs> Finance Association. Southwest governors to spend 266 billion naira on airport projects. The big story on the paper, Borno Dam Collapse, Federal Government Opens IDP Camps as flood submerges 70% of Meduguri. Inmates escape, thousands displaced, Tenebu National Assembly governors pledge aid as Nema begins evacuation. Lagos red line train to transport 150,000 passengers daily. 10,000 new recruits for deployment February 2025. Is aids for the police. You can find details on page 7. 70,000 Naira minimum wage NYSC awaits federal government directives on new coppers pay. And that's all the news on the Punch newspaper. On the Nation newspaper, $3.5 billion. LNG Shell accuses Venture Global of alleged wrongful earnings as the NLNG face same offense can start on the front page and do continue on page two as well we are having canada student enrollment drop by 45 percent concerning the new immigration policy unfavorable so that's the reason why we're having people um, actually dropping those enrollment or those who are trying to get into the schools over there the big story federal government dollar bond attract 900 million dollar subscription Proceed for critical economic projects is Edu, more detail in the paper. Ajero, no human right abuse in Nigeria, says presidency. We are winning battles against bandit oil thieves, says service chiefs. Terrorists to capture eminence, you can do well to read that in the paper. Downside of the paper concerning Edu 2024 PDP APC clash. Over purported plan to make state ungovernable. You can read that on page 5, in that it's all on the nation newspaper. On Nigerian News Direct, federal government partners Google to launch 100 million Naira fund to bolster innovation in AI. Top bank executive officials to face EFCC prosecution soon. Ulukoye Day is assuring Nigerians. The big story on the paper Borno faces most devastating flood in 30 years thousands displaced. 
as over 200 inmates escape prison. Tinubu Shetima pledged to fix ailing infrastructure condo with affected communities. NEDC other emergency agencies vowed to assuage hardship. DSS bows to pressure releases a Jero cyst passport funds as federal government faults UK TUC claims. Ondo leads in operationalizing power sector law, rules out mass metering initiative. Ondo leads in operationalizing power sector law, rules out mass metering initiative. You can find details of this story on page four. Viral Libya video shun deadly pathways to migration, need calm warns Nigerians. And we have a picture showing the situation in Borno. And that's all the news on Nigerian News Direct. Very sad looking at a picture. I think I saw that was it yesterday or the day before yesterday. The um the view kept circulating and you just can't help yes. but you know wonder. And this is where we hope that other neighboring um, states eventually will get affected whether we like it or not yes. because we're talking about a dam collapsing here so we hope that other states will be on their toes so we don't have um, more casualty looking at the people who have died animals even you know escaping the zoo so you can imagine what it is presently criminals on the loose and all that so we hope all hands need to be on deck not just leaving it to Nima, but every other person should do their own part of the job this is why i need the military to be on the check for all those military people and all of that because it's really sad we really have to feel the pain of the people in Medugri. talking about 75 or 70 percent rather mm -hmm. of um the, the whole state being affected you could really tell that's really an ugly scene so, so we really send our condolences to those who died and those whose property were destroyed as a result of the flood of course Sele, we can't help but send our condolences to those who have been affected by these houses vehicles and even lives i believe that for now people might not know whom have been lost to this mm. flooding and all of that however for me the emotion attached to this dam collapse is anger seller um a, a dam doesn't just collapse. collapse it doesn't happen overnight it has been standing for years it means it went over its capacity for a dam to collide and it it, it it didn't become stretched just this year we're looking at years and years and years of it holding more than what it should hold mm. when it comes to water and then finally we know how water always finds its way the water decided to find its way and then the dam collapsed and look at this massive destruction that the government cannot even help people gain back what they want before this water will go down some of these houses would have already spoiled because our houses are not built to live or stay inside water and all of that the rain will come and go to try but for this kind of amount of water mm. it's getting to other places and all of that so yes it shows how we do not do our work 100 percent you're to drench dams you're supposed to deliberately intentionally reduce the water mm. when it has reached its capacity and over you clear it you drench it you make a way for it you release the water to allow more rather than allowing it to find its own way so it just shows that the management did not do their job regarding this dam it, it will show you signs that is about to give way it won't just crumble in one night this is years and years of this uh, of this dam showing that you know what i have reached my full capacity you need to do something about it and there is someone somewhere that refused to do something about it and here we mm. are in this kind of situation mm, this dam needs to be built again apart from that what about the houses that have been lost what about the roads that have been what about the damage that this water will cause can the government in Borno be able to cover all of these costs aside from be building a new dam this is what happens if you refuse to mm. take care of what you already have you take yourself 50 years backward in regarding development in a state so this just means that there was so much negligence in taking care of this mm. dam for it to have gotten to this point and this breaks my heart on a lot of level because it proves one thing and that is what we keep talking about how we do not do 100 percent of what we are expected to do as a, uh, as, as a government and as a country you know what is expected to be done but you refuse to do it you sit down and then now we are looking at losses that i'm sure 
that the government cannot be able mm. to pay for it at the end of the day. Honestly, it's very, very sad. And just when I was excited, Cameroon mm. did not open did not their open. dam. <laughs> Unknown to me, another dam was about to give way. Well, yeah. that's quite sad. Let's take a look at the first news newspaper. Still talking about the flood ravage Nigeria. Mediguri faces snake and crocodile invasion. Bauchi reports 24 deaths, 22 billion naira in flood damage. More detail found in the paper. Nigeria and Syria saying Tinubu's oppressive control worse than the of military dictatorship coming from Atiku. NCDC confirms 55 cases of monkeypox across 21 states, including the FCT. We are restoring trust, rebuilding Nigeria's econ economy, coming from Tinubu, assuring Nigeria. We are restoring the trust, rebuilding Nigeria's economy, coming from the president. Time is running out. Ghani Adams criticized Tinubu for indifference of Nigeria's plight. UKTUC condemns federal government over Acheros on lawful arrest and persecution. Shaitima visit Meduguri pledges government action to combat persistent flooding. Steed on First News newspaper, oil price fell below $70, first time since 2021, amid global demand concern. Buhari declares flood in Borno and other state national calamity. You can read that in the paper. We have the pictures to read where we can see the legal state governor Baba Jidita Wolu warm, warmly welcomes the Minister of Women Affairs Barista Kende um, during her courtesy visit to Lagos on Tuesday. That was yesterday. And that's all the first news newspaper. On New Telegraph newspaper, the big story Borno flood inmates flee as Meduguri prison walls collapse. Government closes schools, flood takes over Shehu's palace, sacks presidents. Its national calamity came at worst time, a statement from Buhari and ACF. SEMA establishes two emergency relief centers. Indume urges federal government orders to urgently intervene. Tinibu orders NEMA to assist victims. Federal government will tackle flood disaster with its new roadmap. Still on the paper, Nigeria records highest boost in crude supply output, a report from OPEC with Saudi Arabia and Libya. We can see thumbs up to that. We are looking forward to more increase. EFCC promises to go after indicted bank officials concerning flood. Lukman can't tell Nigerians who to vote for in 2027, says APC. On insecurity, tech vital tool in fight against banditry. OB debunks purported arrest by DSS. You can find details of this story on page 3 and 5. Tinubu's oppressive control surpasses military dictatorship, a statement from Atiku concerning Ajero's um, arrest. Labor leader not above the law says presidency refused human rights abuse allegation by UK's TUC as NLC warns federal government against further action to silence labor, a girl to undergo medical checks. On vanishing Naira, how inflation's making lower denominations disappear. That is very true, Sele, because all of a sudden mm. it's difficult to come by 20 Naira, 10, 10 Naira, 5 50 Naira. Naira. And these are all denominations still in existence, but mm. for some reason you no longer see them again. And now you get to see 100 Naira, it's mo most of the times rotting. The 200, because we have two of them existing, you can manage to see the new ones looking a little bit better, but the old ones are also very rotting. Mm. And all of a sudden there is no longer value for all of these lower denominations, except if you can make 20 Naira up, 200 naira then it has some purchasing power but on its own mm. they don't purchase mm. anything anymore in the market it's, it's really a vanishing naira era and i just hope that the government it's is on their the top the game exactly of because i recall sorry before yeah. you go and I, re I recall when you and i were talking about one of the reasons why we are even having this inflation is the fact that i think we've had analysts and experts say if we can only do it with 500 or 1000 naira and let the higher denomination be maybe 200 or 100 yeah. naira. Maybe that will help us to be able to have a little value well, for yes. our naira. But just like you said, right now in the market, there's nothing even for 50 naira, yeah. not mm -hmm. even the biscuit for mm -hmm. your kids. Exactly. So you could really, really tell that, I mean, 
of all these lower denominations no longer have value again it in is. the country. But it's quite sad, but it is what it is. It that's is what we can sad. say. Still on New Telegraph, CRF reps order jump to remit 3 billion naira to federal government while we raided Serap's offices by DSS. And we have a study, nighttime light exposure may raise Alzheimer's risk. You can find details on page 6, and that's all the news on New Telegraph. All right, on Daily News Herb newspaper concerning Undo 2024, TDP striving on light black milk coming from Aida Tiwa campaign body. You can read details in the paper. Still talking about Bruno devastating flood, resident panic as wild animals convict escape from zoo and treason. Crocodiles and snake or the reptiles while animals invade communities. It's very sad. Authorities warn escaping animals dangerous runaway prison inmates may be armed. Cemetery submerged Shehu Palace affect affected as well. 40% of Medjugorje now under water. Situation still terrible, says emergency body. Tinibu orders evacuation of affected communities, pleasures federal government support. Data found in the paper. DSS detention. We are planning to conduct medical check on Ajera coming from the NLC. Subsidy removal will free up resources for critical investments, says Tinibu. Nigeria needs comprehensive strategy to combat flooding coming from experts. Aburi Light didn't remit 1,000 Naira challenge donation. Aisha Yusufu fired back. You can do well to read that in the paper. And then here on Eon Edu Guber, we have police arrest local government chairman over alleged political violence. A state government claims 10 PDP leaders arrested by police and detained in Abuja. Still on the paper, we are having a coasty apartment from dream to reality when nature mix, uh, meets luxury. You can read that. We will soon get you. Your days are numbered, military tells Tunji. Under 20 World Cup, Falconet to face Japan in round of 16. You can read that in the paper. Still talking about Ajero's case, Tinubu oppression surpasses military dictatorship, says Atiku. As DSS released labor leaders seize passport, and then the last story on the paper, Buhari Ariwa calls alternative forum sympathize with Bruno flood victims, and that's all on Daily News Herb newspaper. But before we continue with the paper review, we would love to take a time out so you can go through the stories. What do you feel about the flood? Very sad in Medjugorje. We're also seeing that it has even affected some people in other neighboring states. As well, we're seeing what Atik is saying concerning the arrest of um, the NLC chairman, Ajero, as well as the, inv the invading of the syrup office. So we have quite a number we would love you to go through and drop your comments. So when we come back, we will continue with the paper reveal. Please stay tuned with us. Make your everyday informative, make your everyday count. Know your world, daily affairs, national and international with authentic news events as they unfold on Global News and Zuma Nigeria, Monday to Friday at 1 p.m. Welcome back. It's still the dailies. We have been looking at a number of stories on the paper from the collapse of the dam, where we're seeing that even prison inmates have escaped. Animals in the zoo have as well our own. You know, they are loose. So snakes and crocodile residents of Medjugorje have to be very careful. As well as we are seeing a Tiku's, um accusing the present administration, Tinubu, of the administration being worse than that of the military regime. 
regarding the arrest of Ajero as well as invading the office of Sirab in Abuja. So we have quite a number of stories on the paper which we will love you to go through and please do well to drop you comment as they are always welcome on Facebook as well as on YouTube. I still have Richard Tanzo with me. Thank you, Richard. You're welcome, Seven. All right, let's take a look at the next paper, which is the Daily Times newspaper. The big story on the paper, Borno flooding, displays wild animals, humans struggle for space in Medugri. Prison inmates break free as stakeholders call for emergency action. Floods most catastrophic in three decades, a statement from Vice President Shetima. Presidency denies TUC's human rights abuse claim, says Nigeria governed by law. House of Reps to develop policy document to enhance equality and to enhance quality electricity delivery. Governor Boruwari aid in murder allegation. At the 2024 Obaseki APC trade blame over possible electoral violence. Federal government Google unveil 100 million Naira AI fund to empower local startups. Oppression under Tinubu worse than military dictatorship, Atiku is saying concerning Nigeria's arrest. You can start with the details of this story on the front page. FAA ends crackdown on touting to boost passenger confidence. And you wonder how it was even allowed to start in the first place. You can find details on page 20. And that's all the news on the Daily Times newspaper. Daily Independent newspaper. Three years after NCAT 18 Moon cost student pilot yet to graduate. Students write additional exams to get FAA. EASA recognition. You can draw out a detail of that in the paper. Tinubu's oppression surpasses had ha harshest military dictatorship. Tinubu's oppression surpasses hardest um, military dictatorship. You can find that in the paper. DSS arrested Ajero over alleged terrorism, financing, and treason. With the writer saying, Presidency rejects TUC UK allusion of right violation in Nigeria. We regret not joining hunger protests in August coming from the NLC. You can do well to find detail in the paper. On Guba poll, we have Edo government raised the alarm of arrest of PDP leaders. Algon protests arrest of council births. You can read that on page 7. Federal government deployed NEMA to Borno over the flood disaster Flood situation still terrible coming from SEMA. Custom tightened surveillance at borders to halt petrol smuggling. Military restate capacity to protect Nigerians enjoy cooperation. We have restored confidence in Nigerian's economy, says Tinubu, with the rider reiterate subsidy removal will free resources for critical investment. As well, we have reports of Peter Obi arrest by DSS baseless coming from his aid on page 7. And we have the picture story talking about the accelerated economic growth um, development where we can see some, um, we have the vice president together with other stakeholders during that uh, banking and finance conference in Abuja yesterday. And that's all on DD Independent Newspaper. On New Nigerian Newspaper, Flood Devastation, How Bauchi Loses 22.3 Billion Naira Worth of Property and 24 Lives. National Assembly optimistic of ending senior telecom staff strike. This is coming from Honorable Odidiomo. You can find details on page 2. Northern governors extend sympathy, support to Borno over devastating floods. The big story on the paper, 19 CSOs demand transparency in pricing of Dongote fell. Insists Nigerians deserve to know cost of PMS per liter. Push for rail, water transportation as alternative logistic solution. Save Nigerians from hardship, Ajadi tells federal government, says Nigeria losing respect not only in Africa but worldwide concerning our economy. Biotechnology, second batch, Katsina students depart for China. Big boost for NYA, new headquarters opens in Abuja ahead of 2027 elections. Pledges pour in four additional offices in key regions. NGO lament decrease in food production calls for investment in organic farming. That's all the news on New Nigerian. 
On Daily Sun newspaper, NCDC confirms 55 MPOX cases. Here we have some of the states that are leading. We have Enugu, Bayelsa, Aquaibom, Cross River, Delta, Plateau, Benue, Top Leaf. So you can do well to read detail on 57, as well as taking the needed action to protect yourself and your loved one from getting the monkeypox. The big story, flood ravaged 29 states. We have 229 killed as a result of flood. 386,239 have been displaced. 94,492 houses submerged. The writer says Medjugorje submerged and made jailbreak. Many displaced epidemic looms. Tunibu orders immediate evacuation of victims. It's worse in 30 years, coming from Shitima. Northern Governors Buhari Indume called for urgent intervention, detailed on page 6. Still talking about flood, Anambra farmers in fear embark on premature crop, um, crops harvesting. Anambra farmers in fear embark on premature crops harvesting, detailed on page 6. We will get Bedu alive soon, says the Chief of Defense Staff. With the army denied inversion of Kuama, community said it was just a routine operation. Attack on media, CSO under Tinubu worse than military era coming from Atiku. Federal government denies human rights abuse allegations says Nigeria not above the law. Blames labor opposition to refineries still for 17 years stagnation and fuel import. Nigerians cook oil production rose to 1.352 million barrel per day in August, coming from OPEC. NLC confirmed Ajero's release, promises to subject him to medical examination, vows to defend workers' rights. And we have ASU protest members' victimization. You can read that on page 27. That's all on the Edison newspaper. On Sweet Crude Report, the big story for import logistic costs rise by 480% to 133 billion naira. Nigeria's gas output rises by 12% to 175 BSCF in one month. We have Nostra DG tax oil firms on regulations. Compliance says nobody is above the law. You can find details of this story on page 4. Labor vows to resist fuel price hike demands reversal. PMS price are determined by market forces. NNPC is replying to that allegation. And that's all the news on Sweet Crude Reports. Let's take a look at the nature news talking about our environment. First, where we have Uganda secure $600 million World Bank FDA funding for waste infrastructure. African Development Bank, SOFF, holds workshop um, to tackle climate data gaps in Africa. Governor Biodun to roll out 100 CNG business on higher poachers. And we have Nasseri attribute toxic emission in Kaduna community to ruptured pipeline. Federal government to revamp poultry industry through collaborative efforts, says the minister. CAMIT urges government to stop oil spill in the Niger Delta. Proceed wood producers won against export ban, putting 6 million jobs at risk. And we have Mackinson ready for danger zone return against begging of IBO. And the big story here says Tinubu expresses concern as flood ravages Borno state capital. With a rider, Governor Zulum orders emergency response. We have the picture story. This is during the signing between the NNPC Limited and Chevron Nigerian Limited signing an agreement. And this happened recently. And that's all on Nature News newspaper. On Pondspot Extra, Instagram rant of Sime was used, says the needy. Luton move trills Moses. Kanu undergo successful surgery. Joshua opened to Wilder fight. You can find details on page two. Odegaard compounds a tetas injury headache. Colombia 2025. We have Donjuma upbeat ahead Japan clash. 
Liverpool IS amid salary contract talks. I was right about United program. This is a statement from Ragni. Chelsea ponder £70 million Gravy move. Details of this transfer can be found on page 4. The Big Story 2025 Afghan qualifier on Lucky Eagles. Nigeria earn a point in frustrating Rwanda draw. I don't think they're unlucky. At least a draw means it was a tough match rather than losing. You can find details of the outcome of this match on page 7. Paralympic athletes back in Nigeria. Nigeria reached African under-18 basketball quarterfinals. Delta set for NYG opening ceremony. And that's all in news on Point Sport Extra. On Business Day newspaper, Nigeria raises over $900 million in the first domestic dollar born. Record 180% subscription rate. Federal government ready to ravage capital markets for growth coming from the DMO. iPhone 16 price equals 18 months of Nigerians minimum wage. So if you are using an iPhone 16 or if you are planning to, you should know what that entails. For a normal Nigerian worker, that means you have to put your salary of 18 months together to purchase that. If Nigeria cannot end for shortages, disaster beckons. You can read who said that and this is coming concerning um, the petrol in Nigeria. Stera Bank adopts new banking solution to enhance financial services to customers. Corporate tax revenue jumps 151%. On federal government's drive we still have the banking and summit that took place recently we can see the picture story there and that's all on business day newspaper on sporting sun newspaper europe's assist leaders in 2024 lami yamal taught the burner second backs la liga under 23 player of the month for august you can find details at the back page kane admits ronaldo inspiration ahead of 100 england cap Nigeria Paralympic athletes return in batches. Odegaard returns to Arsenal on crutches. De Bruyne lashes Belgian teammate. PSG plots transfer rate for 120 million euros rated Saliba. The big story Morocco Afcon 2025 or similar Lukman fire blanks in Kigali as Super Eagles extend on beaten record against Amavu B remain top of group. Mendy drags Man City to cut over wages. Panel approves Rice red card against Brighton. Modric is saying, I will keep playing so long as I have the fire. Traps on sport to make strong offer for not true by Friday. Victor Moses resurrects with Luton Town. And AJ Du Bois shocking sparring story revealed. Details of this story can be found at the back page. And that's all the news on Sporting Sun newspaper. Well, that's how far we can go on the program this morning. Thank you, Rachel, for You're doing welcome, this. Really. And thank you to our viewers, our supporters, and every other person that made this program a success. We look forward again to doing this together tomorrow. Please do have a great day ahead.